Did the James Gunn haters finally get James Gunn in their terrible claws? Find out all that and more and stay tuned on the Fatal J channel. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Beta J. Back like I left something, and I'm glad you're here. Yes, I'm glad you're here. And today, we're going to speak on... It was some drama over the weekend between James Gunn and Basim Youssef. Now, you might not be able to realize who the freak is Basim Youssef, but I will let you know right now, he is a actor out there, comedian and actor, who was rumored to be in Superman Legacy, but he got cut out of the script due to conflict that's going on in the Middle East. But we're going to unwrap all of that because Basim Youssef said himself, that the media twisted everything that he said. But the James Gunn haters are going nuts right now. Because they felt like they got a win. But when you watch later on on this video. You realize they took a hard L. But before we get into that. I need you to make sure to like. I need you to subscribe. And I need you to hit that notification bell. Because every time you hit that notification bell. It makes your boy Fader J feel oh so good. And oh so swell. Yeah. And also YouTube not going to pay me for this video. So please join that Patreon. Join that membership. And if you don't feel like doing none of that. Then send me a super thanks in the comment. It helps me a lot. It helps me with the channel. Because editing software. It costs a lot of money every month, and I'm trying to entertain you guys out there. So I appreciate you greatly. Now let's get into the news out there. So, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, you seen myself. He went on a Pierce Morgan show. Pierce Morgan, if you're not familiar with him, he's an interviewer. He got a famous show out there on the news channels. And he did an interview, and he brought up during the strikes that he got cut out of the script. Now, a lot of James Gunn haters out there, they were saying, well, you know, James Gunn, he was supposed to be tinkering with the script around that time. Why did he cut this dude off? Why is he being biased? Well, James Gunn has something to say. You seen Bissell has something to say. But I'm going to get to the beginning of this drama. Let's read right here from IGN and let's break this down. Let's see what it says right here. By seeing yourself, character was cut from Superman Legacy before Piers Morgan interview source says. Yourself said he believes he was cut from the movie for speaking out on the conflict in Gaza. Comedian and TV presenter by seeing yourself made headlines earlier this week by telling the law that he believes he was cut from the upcoming Superman Legacy because he spoke out about the conflict in Gaza. Specifically in a viral interview with Piers Morgan in October. A source close to the production, however, disputes yourself timeline, telling IGN that Yousef character was dropped from Superman Legacy well before the Piers Morgan interview. Now, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, it was rumored out there, and I said this myself on Superman Legacy Leaks, that it was a part in the script where Superman takes place in the Middle East. That's all we pretty much know. But now this right here kind of confirms it. But... This is where James Gunn haters took a huge big L, ladies and gentlemen. Because you seen myself himself got online, told people they was twisted, everything he said. And we're going to break this down. We're going to react to this live. Well, not live, but you know how it go. <laughs> Let's check it out right here. Hey, guys, I'm here to address this Superman fiasco once and for all. Fiasco. The internet twists facts, words, and basically everything else. First of all, I'm a huge fan of James Gunn. Nothing but love and respect for this guy. Shout out to James Gunn. Here's what happened. Last June, one day before the actor's strike, I get an audition for a role in the new Superman. Before the actor strike. Audition, I send it, and in less than an hour, I got a call from my agent. He told me James Gunn loved the tape, and he wants to have a Zoom call with you. I have a great call with James. He tells me he likes to interview his actors, so to make sure that everybody has good chemistry on set. Everybody who works in the business know that this is a great day. You do an audition one hour, you get the call. It's an amazing thing. Dope. Like me and my agents, 
We celebrate. He seemed like he in good spirits. The universe smiling for us. And then months go by. October 7th, I go on Piers Morgan show. I do two interviews. Here you go, right and, here. Um, after the interview, right after the strike ends, we get a call from the studio said, Bassem is no longer with us because the script has been changed. Now, here you go. You where I can see that from my point of view. The timing was bad. Even if it was a script change, this looks very bad because a lot of people lost also roles because of their political stance. Now, this happened in November. I never spoke about November. it. November. I sat for three days and I put it behind me. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. I went on the Chris uh, Como podcast. By the way, you have to watch this episode. It's great. And by the way, Chris, you're a wonderful person. Shout out to Chris. I don't, I don't know who the freak he's talking about. Amazing. <laughs> I hit my ass on a one-on-one -on -one basketball game and he's jacked. Anyways, <laughs> after we were done with the interview, he asked me, uh, if I lost any opportunities because of my position, and I tell the story. And then as I was telling the story, I felt that there was a little bit of a resi resi residual of, of anger and bitterness in, uh, in me, and, and I didn't like that. So the next two days, okay. I had BBC Hard Talk with Stephen Sakur. And he owned up to it. Salon, and they asked me, again, did I lose any opportunities? And this time I tell the story, but this time there was no anger, there was no bitterness, there was nothing. Dope. And I tried to be as empathic as possible. And you can watch the interviews. And because the BBC uh, Hard Talk, we're gonna go on live in, in, in a couple of days and it's gonna be the same storm all over again. Please watch the interviews. I really talked about it in a very calm way and I, and I just wanted to and I wanted to, to look and, and, and view it from the other side. When things blew up, James Gunn called me and said, listen, in my head, you were not officially with us because I, I usually do camera tests before the, Dope. the, the movie. And, he let uh, him know. We didn't send the contract before because of the strike. And I told him, listen, James, you know, with the timing, with everything that happened, you know how it looks from my, my side. And he said, and he agrees, like, I agree with you. I, I agree. And, 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 he, and the, the thing is, like, it was just like, it was mishandled. And uh, I, 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 I didn't like the way it went and the timing was bad. But as I said in the interview, I, I do want to believe that there was no ill intention. And I think it was an honest oversight. And I hope I'm true. I, and I hope it, there was nothing else but that, right? And I haven't thought about it, and I and I don't like to complain or victimize myself or sulk. I'm actually very grateful for the career that I have and the life that I have to travel and to earn my living by making people laugh is the greatest gift ever. So nothing but love and appreciation for everyone. Dope. It's behind me, and I and I don't really think about it anymore. And I just wanted to do to to make this video to set the record straight. I don't want to have beef with anybody. I already have a lot on my plate. So, <laughs> see you guys and check my website. For my upcoming tour in Europe. Bye -bye. Dope. So, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from the man himself. Now, he did say that he feel he did feel the type of way, and I would have felt the type of way too, uh, because that's a big opportunity to be in a movie that huge. Because Superman Legacy is going to be the biggest movie in 2025. Well, one of the biggest, if not the biggest. So, I can see how he would disappoint it. But the James Gunn haters. They was really reaching for something out there. And this man already said right here that he's over it. You know, him and James going to at peace. It was just a mistake. You know what I mean? No hard feelings on both sides. So you guys let me know what you think. Do you hate James Gunn or do you think James Gunn is going to make Superman legacy dope? Do you think James Gunn did the right thing or you think he did the wrong thing? You guys let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell. Because every time you hit that notification bell, it makes your boy the J feel oh so good. And oh so swell. Yeah. Join that Patreon. Join the memberships. Send your boy super thanks. Thank you so much. And I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Ninja vanish. The time for talking is over. It's time to push buttons.